And welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy Fables Chocobo Dungeon. Let's take a look around the house. Uh, there's not really much else we can really interact with. Eh, maybe except for Sid. He's asleep. Also, there's a book over here. Basically, oh, it's a tutorial book. Yeah, we don't need to learn about any of that. And there shouldn't be anything up here. Nope. Just a little view of absolutely nothing. Alright, let's get out of here. There's still a bunch of other stuff on the farm we should look at. As soon as it loads. Also, for being nighttime, it's still surprisingly bright out. Anyways, over here, I don't think we can do anything here yet. Let's see, anything good inside the windmill? Uh, no. Actually, I don't think we ever do anything in the windmill. Yeah, I don't think we do. Uh, mailbox. Don't, we can't do anything there yet. Hey, kitty. That's a cat. Whoops, I didn't mean to talk to you again. Over here, we can plant stuff later. But not right now. We don't have seeds, and we the sprinkler is broken. No, we don't need any advice. For now. Uh, what's in the shed? Ooh, oh right, the fishing gear is in here, but we can't pick it up yet. That'll be a little later in the game, but fishing is actually kind of important. For what it unlocks. Uh, down here is the river. We can fish here later. But we can't yet because we can't take the fishing equipment. Because that would be stealing. Let's see what's in the barn. Other than a cow with hair. Named Mulan. Yeah, for some reason, she's your uh, equipment tutorial. Melanie is... a uh, battle tutorial. We don't need to know any of... We don't need to talk to any of these people. Animals. Animals are people, too. There should be other cows here. Let's see, I think you talk about fish. Yep, fish. And you, I don't care about. That's a silo. We'll do that later. Uh, what's over here? Ooh, broken train. We'll come back to that later. Oh, we got a hidden letter. That's right, I forgot all about these. Let's see what this one is. Actually, this is four. That will be... I wouldn't say really important, but it'll come into play later. Hey, doggy. Actually, there's quite a bit of difference between domesticated dogs and wolves. Also, I don't like this tree. Oh, it won't let me kick it yet. Never mind. I still like that tree. Before we go into town, we got a little fountain here. Can we do anything here yet? Nope, not yet. We'll come back later then. I guess we should go advance the plot. I guess. Huh, normally they don't show this part. Alright, there are some shops around, but we'll deal with them after we can actually use them. Right now, they're all still closed. Mostly because it's the middle of the night. Chocobo! I found our staff! See? That is what some staff. Have you heard, Chocobo? The fire's gone out all across town. That seems really odd. It's so weird. That might explain why everything is so dark. I hear voices from the piazza. 
Let's go see what's going on. I thought you were trying to stay away from town, Sherm. Okay, fine. And according to the clock, it's been absolutely no time at all since we've I arrived. I asked you all here to talk about how the whole town has lost its use of fire. So yeah, when they As said the fire see, went out... We have no street lamps, and we must all eat our food raw. They literally meant no fire at all. this is a terrible hardship. I can't serve hot coffee to my customers. Please do something, Mayor Gale. Coffee might be one of the lower priorities at this I point. I haven't been able to bathe for a week. I want to know what's going on. Ew. I do not yet know the cause. But I dreamt a prophecy last night. That the heavens shall send us a savior. A savior? Well, isn't that convenient? <laughs> I mean, it's not like someone's just gonna fall from the sky and save everything. It's getting brighter. What could it be? I mean, that would just be Look. silly. What is that? And... That's the meteorite. The mayor says as he doesn't actually move. Wait, isn't the mirror supposed to- There it is! That was a really delayed explosion. I think the, we might be lagging a bit. Oh well. And then everyone died. That was a short game. Hurry, Chocobo! It looks like something fell out of the sky! That's something you don't see every day. It's a Pokemon egg. An egg? From the sky? Oh, what is it? It's, it's cracking open. That's definitely not something you see every day. Technically, it's still Whoa. night, so... A human? I don't think that's how babies work. When a mommy and a daddy love each other very much, an egg falls from heaven and out comes a baby. Oh no! He's crying! You're not gonna question this at all? Also, I like how he's wearing a diaper. Where'd that come from? What? Did he? This is most incredible. He was just born and he's already talking. And how does he know my name? Oh, this night's getting weirder and weirder. It looks as though he's come. I remember now. This boy's name is Raffaello. I have... Wait, isn't Raffaello... I think that's a reference to well, Raffaello? Remember? That flower? Oh no, I should not have done such a thing. Why did I have to remember something I had forgotten? Wait, wait. This baby. Did you say it was... Raffaello? Well... He was born just now. How could you remember his name? Magic? Uh, You're you questioning the sky, a baby. But there is a good reason, I'm sure, that... Uh, I'm remembering more and more. This beautiful baby boy is... Yeah, oh. Uh, that's not good. Also, apparently the bell targets individuals, considering you'll see. Also, time still hasn't moved. Um, I, uh, what was I doing out here? Well, isn't that just convenient? 
Wait, what was my name? Um, are you okay? Look, the baby! Um, babies aren't supposed to glow like that. Well then, it's only been like two minutes and you've already lost the baby. Good job, Sherma. Also, a brooch. So yeah, this is how dungeons work in this game. Also, we have it now on our little character model. You can't really see it from this angle. But basically, most of the dungeons in this, in this game are actually memory dungeons. So, whenever you see that thing light up in the corner, just hold B, and we can enter the dungeon. Suddenly this became Psychonauts. Alright, hurry up and load, game. Time for our first real dungeon. But then again, it's still not going to be that difficult. Even if we die, we're not going to lose very much. We should probably rescue that baby. Probably not a good thing to, for him to be in a giant dungeon full of monsters. Also, this thing will come into play later. But for now, let's just go on. We can also escape at any floor, as long as you find the stairs. We can also escape if you have a certain item we can get later. But honestly, it's not that important since, yeah, stairs. Alright, and hey, stairs are right there, but actually I want to do a bit of exploring. Uh, I want to find some more- ooh! Hi, Froggy! Ow! You're mean. Ooh, job points. Also, speaking of job points, right now, technically our job is natural, so we need 181 to get to the next job uh, level and unlock more skills. Let's see. Also, sometimes enemies will be asleep. They'll wake up if you go next to them, but other than that, they're pretty easy to avoid. Also, if you hold Y, you can face in any direct- You can turn without, uh, moving. So let's just get rid of this bat. There we go. And yeah, criticals. Oh, he woke up. And that'll be fine. You know what? Let's just sma- Oh, that didn't kill him. That did, though. Alright, how much until I get another level? Eh, quite a while. We're probably not gonna get- Ooh, claws. Eh, Rusty Talons. Are they any good? No, they don't have a multiplier on them. I'll explain equipment more once it actually becomes important. Also, this is a health trap. For now. Later in the game, it can change. Like, for now, we'll actually have some beneficial traps. But later in the game, we're not going to have so many of these. We don't need that one right now. Uh, stairs are over there. I want to see if there's any more treasure, though. Free items are always helpful. Oh, those are not treasures. But yeah, we gain SP from basically doing anything. Also, if you just walk around, your HP will regenerate. And if you hold A and B together, you'll just walk in place. That lets everything regenerate, but it also drains your hunger. In fact, everything drains your hunger, technically. Hey, hey, batty. You're- oh, you're not dead. Now you are. What's this? Uh, ether. Ether restores an SP. Just like in every other Final Fantasy game. Let's see- oh, we're almost to the end already, but we don't want to go down quite yet. Uh, ooh, claws. Are these any good? No, still rusty. I don't think we can get anything better than rusty talons, or rusty equipment in this, uh, dungeon. We will later, though. Also, I'm hungry. No, I'm not hungry. Like I said, eventually those will start draining hunger instead of, uh, regenerating it. And obviously, if you attack sleeping enemies, they'll wake up. But they won't be able to act that turn. Ooh, never mind. We got a leather saddle. Uh, where is it? Yeah, that's better than what we have. We'll equip that. 
shame I can't find any leather ar- or not leather armor. Leather claws, but oh well. Nothing? Nope, nothing here. Alright, time to go on. Oh wait, I want to kill this guy first. Every li Every little bit of experience helps. Also, before we move on... I was going to regenerate my health, but no. You have to interrupt me. Go away. Thank you. Alright, I'm going to regenerate my health real quick. Because we're about to reach the ball. Oh, God. I took... Leave me alone. You know what? I'm just going to kick you. Oh. There we go. Alright. Regenerate. Uh... Okay, yeah, you know what, screw it. I'm just gonna move on. This next boss isn't hard at all. We did get plenty of JP out of that, though. And the first boss. It's a giant turtle. He's, uh, two squares away. Uh-oh. That's actually gonna be kind of annoying. I kind of want to stall for time. Also, turtle-type enemies, they actually only get one action for every two actions you get. So I'm just gonna run around until that wears off. Or not, fine. I'll fight you. Yeah, we can barely do any damage to him at this point. I'm actually gonna use a potion. Come on, we're off already. My kicks aren't gonna do much until it wears off, but I don't think he has that much HP. Ow. I'm going to take another potion. P Trust me, potions are stupidly easy to get in this game. Come on. We're off our eight protect. Uh, I hate I hate enemies who can use protect. There we go. It wore off just as he died. Great. Another level would have made that faster, but oh well. But we're in the home stretch now. Well, we found Raffaello. With his butt wings. Also, that baby has insane grip. Oh, never mind. He can just float. Well, we got the mayor's memories back. Maybe that'll fix him and make him less of a jerk. Maybe. As soon as the loading screen ends. We must never forget the day the calamity struck our town. Nor must we ever let the loss of the nine brave souls be in vain. I don't think they ever explained that. We must carry on and continue to defend our town, our world. Because there is hope. One last glimmer of hope. Please follow me. And believe in me. Because the future is only for those who believe. My name is Gale. And I am the mayor of Lost. And with that, his memories are back. He might be a bit pissed off at us now that I think about it. Actually, he probably would be really pissed off if he could remember that we just did that. But that's how dungeons work. Chocobo and Raffaello, where have you been? I was worried about you. I have no idea um, where we were. What did I just see? Something from long ago. Whoops, I didn't mean to skip that. Anyway. There is one thing that I remember now. My name is Gail, and I am the mayor of this town. Also, isn't Gail a girl's name? <laughs> forgetting is supposed to be a virtue. But I must admit, forgetting who I am is taking it a bit too far. I don't know. I, for someone with that type of philosophy, 
That should be like the ultimate point. Well, sounds like we gotta shove a baby into Sid's head. Mayor Gale, I'm taking Raffaello home. Good night. Uh, wait, Sherma. Chocobo, I'll see you back at the house. Okay. Well then, we have a baby now. Cause why not? I'm not sure if Sherma's gonna be qualified as a mother though. And with that, though, we get access to the bank. We'll stop by there in a second. Actually, I think we'll stop by there right now. Uh, there's nowhere else we can really go. Also, no, don't ask why everyone can understand Chocobo. Or why it's apparently perfectly normal for one to just run around like this. In our world, it would be like a dog running around talking to people. Oh well. Alright, uh, fortune teller is not open yet. I see. But anyways, now the bank is open. We're gonna be here quite a bit. Quite a bit. Yep. Two fat chocobos. Alright, the one on the right, he deals with money. Basically, if you die in a dungeon, you also lose all your money. So it's usually a good idea to deposit all your gill. Uh, but we don't have any. And over here... Is Barro. He stores items. We'll be seeing him a lot. Right now, he can only store 32 items. But we can increase that later. And we can only hold 16, so it's not that bad. I'm actually going to deposit all of these. Uh, those I'll keep. There we go. Alright. Let's get going. There's not much else we can do in town right now. So we might as well head back to Stella's farm. I don't even think there's anyone out right now. Well, no, there are people out, but talking to them won't t give us anything. Why is this cat French? But, come on. Sometimes the loading screens can take a while. Although, I think we have a cutscene here. Also, it wouldn't be a Final Fantasy game without Moogles. Whistling a tune, he's there. Also, Final Fantasy VIII music. With eyes gently sparkling behind his mysterious mask. Nobody knows who he is. But everybody knows his name. Da -da 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 -da! Yep, we'll be seeing him a lot. Not at all, but whatever you say. In that case, take this, Koopa. You might not know what it's for yet, but this rare item is sure to come in handy. I think he gives us... Yep, he gave us a card case. Huh? Why am I being so kind? Oh, I'm sure you'll have something for me to rob. Funny you talk about that. Whoa, I wasn't supposed to say that out loud, Koopa. Ahem, <clears throat> remember, Chocobo, you owe me one. So yeah, we just got the card case. Also, remember that part about him robbing us. Just remember that for now. Also, every time we clear a dungeon, we get a letter. Oh wait, this from Moogle? Um... Not. I'm Romantic Hero X, the mysterious new hero from the Romantic Star of X-Tail. The top secret... I don't feel comfortable about this letter. All right, I'm actually gonna write that down. Use that password. By the way, stay away from the silo, Koopa. So 
So yeah, remember the silo from earlier? Let's go take a look at that. Actually, you know what? We'll do that next time. So, next time on Let's Play... I almost said Harvest Moon. We are on a farm, but no. Let's, next time on Let's Play Chocobo Dungeon, I'm going to head inside the silo. Also, let's also remember Camelot. So yeah, till next time.